Welcome to the Uzumaki Garage. Today I'm talking about snap-on roll cabs, things to consider before buying one, and I attempt to modify a snap-on roll cab that was made in China so it performs better and lasts longer. I've got two 40 inch roll cabs against the wall in front of my Evo. They're identical toolboxes made in Canada and they hold most of my commonly used tools. The drawers are a perfect depth as I can open them fully without them hitting my car. In this new workshop, I don't have much space. So to keep things neat and compact, I started looking for an extra roll cab to store the tools that I don't use very often. Things like non-metric tools, electrical stuff and specialty tools. I looked at a lot of new roll cabs in tool stores locally, but the quality didn't impress me and none of the drawers felt nice to use. So once again, I looked at the Snap-on Tools options. Snap-on has a huge variety of toolboxes. Most are made in the US or Canada, but there's also a cheaper range, Origin China. I want to test them out, see how they compare. So keeping an open mind, I paid $400 for a second-hand 7-drawer 40-inch Snap-on roll cab that was made in China. Part number KRA2107. All seven drawers on this Chinese made roll cab are full width and they only have one slider on each side of each drawer. Unlike the full width drawers on my Canadian roll cab, which have two sliders on each side of their full width drawers. More sliders increase the drawers load capacity and also makes it more stable. The Canadian roll cab has sliders embossed with a snap on logo, part number and they're made in the US. Whereas the Chinese sliders don't show any branding or part number. With the drawer almost fully open, I attached a spring balance to give it a one kilo sideways load and measured about 10 millimeters of movement and over 20 millimeters of movement when the drawer is wobbled side to side. I don't like the drawer flexing like that so I ordered an extra pair of sliders from Snap-on. These are the only Snap-on sliders I could find to fit these drawers. They do have their part numbers stamped on them. They cost less than 60 Australian dollars a pair but they were made in Taiwan. Toes, baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Ain't where the money at? Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily. And I'm the type of that might change my number on you. Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on you. Pretty brown skin, baby. I can see the summer on you. You see all the bread, and I know it make you wonder, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Ooh, I ain't surprised at all. Seen them rise and fall. Went up the mountain, it wasn't hard to climb. With four sliders on it now, the load rating has been doubled to 130 kilograms, which is important as it's such a large draw. It turned out to be an easy install and you can see the sideways movement has been dramatically reduced. It's interesting how this sticker brags about the latch mechanism but nothing is said about the draw sliders. I guess we'll see how long they last. These are the casters on the Canadian built roll cab. The wheels are 6 inch diameter, they have a grease nipple to lubricate the bearings and the snap on logo on their tyres. 
The Chinese made roll cab has smaller 5 inch wheels, no grease nipple, no logo, and a different font on the brake pedals. So even though the roll cabs are the same size, when they're parked side by side, the tops don't line up evenly. The Chinese one sits a full inch lower. Alright, to sum up, I've learned a lot by making this video. I generally prefer extra drawers instead of full width drawers on toolboxes, particularly on the top chest. My snap-on roll cabs are made in Canada or the US and have better quality moving parts. But getting a Chinese made snap-on roll cab at a good price can be okay too, particularly if it's not your main toolbox. Yes, you can add extra sliders to improve some roll cab drawers at a reasonable cost. So that's about it. Thanks for watching right to the end. YouTube takes notice of that sort of thing, so I appreciate your support. Subscribe to my channel, like the videos, and hit the notify bell so I know you're into it and want to see more. Cheers.